When the going gets tough, how do you keep yourself grounded? There are a lot of ways to handle your own challenges. Some people like to speak things out loud and get validation from others. Others prefer to stay in the moment and focus on what they can control. The truth is, everyone has their own preferences for how to face a challenge in life. However, there are a few good tips and tricks to follow when things get tough. Take your pick from the following list. So, if you want to know more about this, then this video is for you. For today's video exclusive for our MANA members, we are going to talk about the 10 ways women can overcome any obstacle. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Do you know what's tough? Really tough? It's the kind of challenge that makes you want to give up, and sometimes it feels it will never end. But then, you find a way through and your resilience shines through. You've learned how to bounce back from obstacles and setbacks, and you're better for it. That's what strong women do. They don't let obstacles get in their way. They figure out how to make the most of them. They develop grit and tenacity by facing their challenges head-on, not running away from them or pretending they don't exist. What can we learn from strong women? Here are 10 things. The first one is to make a plan. When you're in the middle of something, sometimes it's hard to see the bigger picture. But when you look ahead, you can make better decisions and be more prepared for whatever may come. It can be hard to think about the future when you're busy with your day-to-day -day responsibilities. But if you have time on your hands and are willing to take a step back from your current activities, then there are some things that can help you prepare for what's next. One way to do this is by assessing the patterns in your life and seeing what challenges you have struggled in within the past. Then, make a plan for how these might play out in the future so that all of your time is spent on what matters most. This will help everyone involved to get through any situation with greater ease. The next one is to know that you are not alone. No one is alone in this world. There's a sense of community with us all, and that's what makes life so beautiful. The truth is that every human being has their low points. Some may handle or even hide them better than others, but no matter what you're going through, there are others who have been through it too. You are not alone. Try to reach out to your community and network. Speak your feelings and express your concerns in all settings of your life. The third is to ask for help. You are not alone. You can find help. There's no need to feel ashamed for asking for help. Whether you choose to rely on a loved one, a stranger, a mentor, or a friend, there are people who want to help you succeed. It's important to know that there are people who want to help you succeed. You don't have to do this all by yourself. You might be thinking, but I don't know anyone. No worries. You can start by asking your friends or family members who they think would be the best person for you to help talk with about your problems. Or maybe someone at work could help. Ask them if they know someone who could give you some advice or support on what you're dealing with right now. Even if no one seems like they'll be able to help right away, remember that it doesn't mean they'll never change their mind. They may just be busy and unable at that moment in time, but they will someday. So don't give up hope yet. And remember, we all go through hard times sometimes. If something is bothering you, talk about it with someone close and trust that things will get better in time. Next is the feel your feelings. The feeling is a very powerful thing. When we feel, we move our bodies and hearts, and we feel the world around us. But feelings are also delicate, and they have a tendency to get trapped in our bodies or our minds. This can lead to feelings that are difficult to access, even painful ones like sadness or anger. When you try to ignore your feelings, they don't go away. They just stay stuck inside of you, growing in size and intensity until they burst out of you in some form of self-harm or self-destruction. But it doesn't have to be this way. Feeling is okay, and feeling how you feel is okay too. It's all good. When you feel what you feel, it will help your heart expand with love and compassion for yourself and others. It will help your mind become more clear. It will help your body heal itself naturally without medication. And when this happens, guess what? There won't be any more self-destructive behavior because there won't be any more negativity left in your system. Another one is to accept support. Asking for help is only one side of the coin. On the other side of the coin, you have to be open and willing to accept support. People who come to your aid truly do care about you. 
Be open to receiving help when you need it. There are so many times when we feel like we can't ask for help because we don't want to appear weak or needy. And that's completely understandable. But there are also times when it's important to ask for help and it's important to accept support from others. If you're not ready yet, then hold off on opening up about your situation. But if at some point you just want to tell someone about what's going on in your life, go for it. Just remember, having people around who care about you will make all the difference in the world. Then, don't forget to help others. When you give, you don't just get back what you gave. You also get a little bit of magic in return. When you lend your ear to someone who needs advice or go out of your way to help someone in need, it's like a small gift that keeps on giving. One that keeps on giving until it reaches the person who needed it most. It's so simple. When someone helps others, they feel good about themselves and their life. And when they help others because they want to, not just because they have to, they feel even better about themselves still. So the next time you're feeling low or down in the dumps, remember this. There's always someone else who could use a little boost. Help them out. You'll be surprised at how much better things will seem for yourself. The seventh way is to think big. Success is not always about the outcome, it's about the process. It's about taking risks and being willing to fail. You've heard it before. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. But what does that mean? In the case of business and entrepreneurship, it means knowing when to give up on a project. It means letting go of what might have worked in the past and moving forward with something new. It means looking for opportunities where others may have failed before and leapfrogging over them. It's easy to let yourself think small because of the fear of failure or even the fear of making a decision. But to accomplish great things in life, you have to be open to taking risks. With whatever challenges may arise, always think and dream big. That way, you will achieve more than you could have ever imagined. Try not to let your thoughts get into your own way. Instead, keep them focused on where you want to go next. Then, always remember to have a positive mindset. You are the sum of all your experiences. Every thought, word, and deed you do is a reflection of you. You can't change what is already done, but you can change how you think about it. The reality you create for yourself is by thinking positively positively is your own creation. If you practice positive thinking and put your mind in a positive frame of mind, then when something negative happens to you or around you, you will react differently than if you have negative thoughts about the same thing. It's easy to get caught up in the moment and not pay attention to your thoughts. But when things happen, like if someone cuts in front of you at the grocery store or gets fired from work, try not to get caught up in them. Instead, when something negative happens, just acknowledge it as a part of life and move on what needs to be done next. Never give up. Challenges are a part of life. They can cause us to feel nervous and anxious, but they don't have to stop us from doing what we want to do. The key is to power through them by asking for support, feeling your feelings, and making a plan to work through it. When a challenge arises, such as a big test in school or an upcoming running race, don't give up. Persistence is a huge key to overcoming challenges. Giving up means that you will neither overcome the challenge nor learn from it. Power through challenges by asking for support, feeling your feelings, and making a plan to work through them. Last but not the least, work smart and not hard. Planning is key. Have a goal in mind, but also think about what you need to do to get there. Then, outline the steps you're going to take to get there. Want a more efficient way of doing things? Think back on your past experiences and see how others have done it before you. Maybe they did something different that worked better for them. Or maybe you can learn from their mistakes or successes. Think about what skills or resources you have available to make things easier for yourself. Maybe you don't have any money or time, but maybe there's someone who does. Maybe there's a skill set that your company needs but doesn't have yet. That could be a great way for everyone involved to benefit. It's a fact of life. Challenges will come your way, but that doesn't mean you have to give in to them. The first step is to be prepared for your challenges. We all need a plan of action, and we all need a support system behind us. There are people who can help you when things get tough, and there are also people who can keep you going when things get rough. And if this isn't working for you, that's okay too. You don't have to be perfect in order to make it through the day. 
Just remember that there are people who will be willing to pick up the pieces and they won't expect anything from you except the best version of yourself. There you have our Mana Motivation video for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell, and like this video. If you think that we have delivered value, please share this video with one person. Just one share is enough for you to show your appreciation for the commitment and hard work that we all put together in creating this video that teaches and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. And you don't know that one share could go a long way. And keep in mind that no matter how many times you're going to watch this video, you won't see any results unless you take action. Goodbye and see you at the next one.